uh, in terms of trends, uh, trends amongst middle versus high mm -hmm. school students, um, what type of trends do we see? Is there a difference, for instance, between middle and high school students that you're seeing? Uh, and then also the trends that you're seeing in regards to the vape devices versus maybe just straight nicotine products. Sure. So um, the trend amongst high school students is definitely higher than middle school. Okay. The current nationwide statistic, according to the Surgeon General, is 20.8% of high school students vape. That's one in five. So that's definitely a, an alarming statistic. Um, the current statistic for middle school students is one in 20. And while that might not seem as much as high school, that still is an alarming number. And I can tell you within the last year, that's a 50% increase of middle school students using. It's a 78% increase of high school students using within the last year. And who will use that product regularly over a 30 day period. Um, so these are alarming numbers and they're growing. Um, as we see additional products start to enter the market. Um, Juul has created a culture uh, throughout not just the state but this country. Um, so much so to when uh, students are talking about themselves vaping, vaping isn't even the cool term to use anymore. Uh, smoking isn't cool. It's not cool for a kid to say that they smoke. But for teens, it's cool to say that they jewel, and that's their marketing tactic. Um, they think it's cool for you to use their products, so we have to develop counter marketing campaigns, of course, to explain to them uh, that it's not cool to jewel. Okay. Uh, that's, that's a great uh, fact for, for both the community and for our parents. Um, speaking of parents, what are the signs and symptoms a parent should look for um, if they feel as if their child may be using a vaping device? One of the most common signs to look for is if a teen doesn't want caffeine. And that sounds strange, um, but the propylene glycol, which is a chemical that you will find in all e-liquids, all vapes, all e-cigarettes, uh, absorbs water. And so where lots of teens drink soda, we will see that they start to pass up on it. They'll pass up on Red Bull or any type of caffeine enhancer, and they'll start drinking a lot more water or Gatorade because they're thirsty all the time uh, because the propylene glycol has absorbed all of that water they would otherwise have. Interesting fact. Yeah. Um, I think that that is uh, definitely something that parents can keep yeah. an eye, an and, eye on. In and the you community. definitely have to look out for if they're starting to conceal lots of things. You know, these okay. devices are meant to be concealable, both in the way that they're developed, um, the physical device itself fitting just in the palm of your hand. Um, you see lots of teens who start to cut out, for example, large Sharpie markers and hide the Juul device inside. Okay. Um, that's something we need to be on the lookout for. And so the Juul looks like a flash drive. Okay. Um, in fact, it can be charged right in the computer to recharge its battery. We also start to see devices that look like highlighters. For example, the Swarin Drop looks like a teardrop but it looks like a highlighter I can go to Staples and buy. Um, it's multicolored, um, it's a refillable pod system, and it fits just in the palm of your hand.